Hello and welcome to the second Arctic sea ice update of the 2013 melting season. Uh, two weeks ago I said I wanted to make videos so that I would have to write less and save time and everything. It wasn't really working that well because I couldn't show the details. Uh, so uh, I went back to writing. But uh, I thought I'd, I'd give it another shot and see if, if it goes better, because now I've written the Arctic Sea Ice update and I know better what I want to talk about. And uh, yeah, if people want to know more details, they can uh, scroll down and read the update. Uh, or if they just want a quick update, then they have to listen to what I'm going to say in the next five minutes. Um, uh, we see the Arctic Sea Ice Extent and Area Graphs from the Arctic uh, Sea Ice Graphs um, page which I recommend if you want to know what's going on. And we see that the 2013 trend line is uh, uh, above most of the other years. Um, we know why that happened. It's because of that cyclone that, uh, that was forecasted two weeks ago to stay for a while, and it did stay, it's still there. And it's kept a bit of the cold in the Arctic. Uh, we see that here, we see that here. Um, and here's the, the cyclone itself, still around. Um, maybe I didn't pay uh, attention in previous years, but my recollection is that uh, cyclones uh, come into existence, they stay for a few days, they leave again, there's another one coming up somewhere else. Um, but yeah, I don't know, this this time, this, this cyclone has been here almost for two weeks, shifting uh, to to the American side of the Arctic, shifting back again, and now it's forecasted to stay there. So I'm going to show you that in a minute. So yeah, um, maybe it's been it's been here for two weeks. So I hope the smarter people will have something to say about that. How unusual it is. Maybe it isn't. Maybe this is normal. I don't know. Um, it's not having as big an effect on the sea ice as the Great Arctic Cyclone of last year. That's also because we're still in June and not in August, so the ice is a bit thicker and you can handle it better. But yeah, we might see an indirect effect um, later in the season. Uh, one thing I wanted to talk about and also uh, give as a tip to people who start watching the ice, um, of course, because of the cyclone, um, we see um, well, you'd expect changes, and it was also forecasted by a model, big changes, and these didn't come about really, but what we see every day on the sea uh, ice concentration maps, are, and especially on the University of Bremen sea ice concentration map, is these changing colors, uh, which imply that the sea ice concentration is lower there. Um, well, my rule of thumb with these things is that these colors have to stay in one place for at least three days to 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 be able to say well there's really something going on because most of the time there isn't it's the sensor that is being fooled by clouds or haze or melt ponds and it it, it shows then a lot of yellow and orange and in fact nothing of the sort is going on down below and I'm saying this because in the past week um, a lot of people on the forum and the blog have been bringing this up and I had the same in 2010 when I started watching the sea ice more intensively. I was thinking, what, what is going on, all that yellow? Well, one way to see um, the changes from day to day is by going to the archive. Maybe I should show where it is. You click here, you go to the Ar Arctic archive, and then you pick the dates. I did that for, for yesterday and today. And if you uh, switch back and forth between tabs on your browser, you see that all that yellow here that was here, that that's here today, that wasn't there yesterday. And for instance, here there was there was something that was there for two days, and then yesterday it was just a bit left, and today it's almost all of it's gone. So um, I don't want to imply that the cyclone is not having an effect. We're just not seeing it yet. A uh, good way to to also to check what's going on is to have a look at the satellite images. 
and of course here you know the we've, we've been seeing these holes here and then there and some of it there and if you really zoom in well there is a lot but as you also can see there's there's a lot of clouds there's some haze over here and you see the blue the blue all over here yeah that's the sea ice changing color because it's getting warmer and things are starting to melt so just to, to so uh, people know it doesn't always have to mean something um, one last thing I want to look at is what the cyclone is going to do and for that I use the ECMWF weather forecast model which is fantastic I click on northern hemisphere and then uh, take 500 hectopascal sea level pressure blah 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 and here it is that's for tomorrow it's still there and but if we go further well we see it stays there but there's a lot of isobars and the winds in a low pressure area go that way and the high pressure areas over here go this way so the ice gets pushed towards Fram Strait it's very interesting that's for um, coming Thursday and it's still it's, it stays there <laughs> it's amazing um, Saturday Sunday well this is this is far out in the forecast so this is probably going to change but yeah it's still intensifying again moving back to the center of the Arctic so in short plenty of stuff happening in the Arctic as always and um, maybe I'll make another video in two weeks uh, I'll make some music and a title role so that I can thank all the organizations that put up all those graphs and maps that allow us to have almost real-time coverage of Arctic sea ice so thank you for watching and see you next time